But by working together, we have proved Judison can make a difference. Facilities, we pressured to ensure that temporary workers with 12 months service were included in the redeployment exercise and the reorganisation exercise within Greater Glasgow and Clyde. Agenda for change, Unison has risen to the challenge on behalf of our members and our efforts secured the virtual end to the Band 1 and thousands of pounds for our members. Looking forward, we remain determined to ensure that members get a fair deal on agenda for change. Occupational health, our union argued extensively to the employers to rethink about their plans to privatise the service. That happened, the service remains in-house. It's not going to privatisation. Unison also argued that the new hospital at the Southern General would not be privately financed. That also is not privately financed. That also is in-house. I'm pleased, to see, pleased with the progress in 2009, although it has been really tough at times. But we can always do better. Looking forward, if 2009 was tough, 2010 will create its own challenges that we have not seen in the public sector, even in the darkest years of Thatcherism. We're working with kids that are about 11 years old, you know, and some of the forms are coming back with perceptions like, well, they're over here to steal our jobs. So clearly there's a need for anti-racist intervention, and I don't think 11-year-old kids are coming up with that idea themselves. It's clear that we've got to work with adults, it's clear that we've got to work with the media um, in educating our communities against racism. And we've developed a, a media um, equipment for the branch so that we'll be able to make our own films over the next um, wee while. So hopefully you'll be seeing a bit more of this, but this was entirely made by those branch resources and it's, um, it's, it's a little um, film to show all the kind of work that went on over the year. NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde has started work on over 300 projects that collectively aim to provide efficiency savings currently around 55 million. This is proposed to be achieved via a variety of routes, including bed reduction, hospital site closures and staff reductions. Comrades within the community and voluntary sector face ongoing change and that's with regard to providers being brought in based on cost and not on the quality of service. I urge you to support this motion and in doing so you are calling on the branch committee to one, continue to campaign for improved investment in public services to deliver a health service that we are proud to deliver. Two, to promote Unison Scotland's campaign on being positive about public services, commonly known as revitalising our public services. As part of that, I urge you to attend the Stop the Cuts March and Rally on Saturday the 10th of April. Details are on your shares. 
And we would also call on the branch committee to campaign and support our members who face cuts in jobs and services within NHS Greater Glasgow and <coughs> and within the community and voluntary sector. In doing so, we can stand together and we can highlight the need not to cut but to invest in our public services. Please support this resolution. It's going to be tough, it's going to be challenging. Um, uh, the motion paper earlier said, suggested that the budget cut in NHS at Glasgow Clyde was £55 million. Pounds. That's what the figure was in January when that motion was written. That number is now near a £61 or £62 million pounds, and it kind of changes every time you, you meet with the employer. Realistically, for NHS at Glasgow Clyde workers, that's 300 plus projects which will seek to take that money out of public service uh, sector services. Both the Director of Finance and your Chief Executive have said we can't make any more savings by mucking about with the pharmacy, mucking about with stores, mucking about with central services, uh, cent central delivery services. We can only make that kind of scale of saving by having less staff doing services in a different way. In terms of the bargaining agenda, you know, NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde um, uh, uh, as an employer are trying to squeeze the organisational change policy that we have. At a government level, they've said they need to continue to honour that, but we're seeing them say, you know, three or four strikes in terms of reasonable offers of alternative employment. If you don't accept them, you will have deemed yourself to be unemployed. Of course, they want the people who are left to do the same amount of work as the people that they had uh, uh, before. They're being increasingly tough in managing absence and capability. We're seeing people go out the door faster than ever before, and indeed, if you happen to work in facilities or if you work in some of the nursing directorates, you're more likely to be sacked eh, than you are to be brought back to work. Colleagues, please remember it's not always what your union can do for you, but what you can do for your union. So thanks for your attendance and thanks for your continued support. Good night and have a safe journey.